What's up everyone? It's Letitia with Bear Fruit Gardening. I hope that you're doing well. It's a gorgeous day out here. I just, I can't ask for a better day. Today's my birthday. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, uh. hey, hey, hey. My birthday. Hey, 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 hey. My birthday. Hey, 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 hey. I'm crazy, y'all. But it is a gorgeous day, and because it's my birthday, I decided to do a, a garden tour. So, one second, and I'll come back at you. All right, let's start over here on the side of the house. So, um, this is the arch project, arch trellis project that I did. And we have gotten tons of rain here, and today is actually the first beautiful day without rain or clouds, or very many clouds in the sky. And these are beefsteak tomatoes that are in the ground and they are looking great i still got those uh rocks with the red pepper flakes around i don't know if y'all can see those the vaseline or the petroleum jelly is starting to melt off of those now uh but i think it's serving its purpose these haven't been touched so i'm excited that tomato plant looks good i planted some kooka melons um, in this pot and they're supposed to trellis the the arch as well I may have to put some like uh, twine or something uh, in these gaps because you know they're pretty big right here you know to give them something to hang on to and then I also planted some um, there's more cook melons on this side and there's some tender green beans um, going up the trail so I want to plant some other stuff like asparagus beans or something that's yard, yard long beans something that's really long um that can trellis really good uh so i'm thinking about that as well this is a beautiful trellis um so i was out here earlier and probably about 30 or 40 minutes earlier because i'm thinking that i may want to plant my fruit trees here this this yard slopes down toward the neighbors so i'm thinking why not create a maybe a line of fruit trees here maybe four five i don't know y'all i'm crazy now the shadow from this tree is casted here right now and it's almost one o'clock uh when i was out here earlier around 11 30 11 45 ish the um shadow was here so the only the only place that was getting full sun was right here so I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna continue to watch it and see, but I think the shadow should stay over there for the rest of the evening. So maybe my fruit trees right along here will be good. Um, and again, like four or five. I, I have one apple tree, I know I have that. And I'm thinking about getting another one just to increase uh, pollination uh, possibility, even though the Texas, it doesn't need a pollinator. It's a honey crisp apple tree. So, but you know, we're, we're gonna see. And then I have some fig trees. I'm not sure if I wanna plant my fig trees though in the ground. I think I'm gonna keep those in containers for a while because they're all young. And then I may put them out. Decisions, decisions, right? So on the side of the shed here, I have planted my okra. Those are my okra and they're looking good. That one's looking a little shabby, I'm not sure, but the rest are good. This one's young, he's just young. So, um, I have some red burgundy okra and the I, what I believe to be is the grim, a green Clemson, is that what it's called, uh, okra? Um, so, we're, uh, the spineless version, we'll see. Uh, those seeds were given to me by someone else. But the red burgundy I purchased on mygardener.com. So, I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And then on the other side of the shed, I have my peppers. So I have some uh, green, uh, sweet green bell peppers, some California wonder peppers planted here. And I also have a grand bell pepper. The grand bell pepper is um, like different colors, peppers, purples, whites. I think it's like a white pepper, uh, purple. Um, just all different colors. It's kind of interesting. Never seen anything like it before. Working on cleaning up this space. I kind of done that a little bit. Um, this black can, I'm going to have my leaf mulch in. Um, so I've started that. 
process and then these are just old twigs that I might use for stakes um, as my plants grow and then I have a few I think this is a squash plant here I know I have it labeled y'all but it looks great it looks great actually no this one is labeled but it has the wrong label remember I told y'all I labeled a few my greenhouse fell over and so a few of those um, labels got mixed up in the plants before they were way bigger I mean they were way smaller than this but I do believe that's a squash plant of some sort this is a scallop squash I just used a crate lined it with some fabric um, a weed barrier and poked some hose or I didn't really poke hose in it the water drains through pretty good um, actually I might have put a few in the bottom but I don't think you need to and then um, uh, mulched it with some leaves and my purple passion sweet potatoes are coming along and my regular sweet potatoes the type you buy in the store everything is looking good so far uh, we've had a few uh, cool nights so I've been kind of worried about the one with the plants but they all seem to be you know because they're well established they seem to be doing well so this is what I decided to do with the tires I have a set over there and a set here so I filled the tires up with leaves just like that and then I topped it off as about mm, maybe three inches of soil so I'm I think I'm gonna plant because I'm running out of room to plant stuff so I think I'm gonna try to plant a squash in here because I have more squash plants um, I have a pumpkin plant here that's the pumpkin that's really big I have a few um, cucumbers. Oh, this is stuff I haven't gotten planted out yet, y'all. Um, some herbs, some basil. There's some sugar baby watermelons. I already have one planted. I'll show you in a second. Some flowers. I just haven't had time. This is a Cali Kim. Um, or not time. I've had time, but not space. I'm trying to figure out where to where to plant them. Um, this is a Cali Kim five gallon smart pot, and so far so good. I have carrots and beets growing in there. And y'all know my story about these peas, bless their hearts. So I threw some DE on them, Diatomaceous Earth, and because it was infested with aphids. And I still see aphids, but they actually look like they're trying to bounce back because they were, I mean, just ran over with aphids. I mean, they were everywhere. So I'm hoping that fixed the issue, um, or, you know, at least for the time being. So we can get some peas but again it's warming up so i don't know if these poor peas are going to even be able to do their thing because it's getting so warm we've had temperatures in the 80s um here's some more plants these are cabbages i just don't have anywhere to put them now i am going to replace in this bed two of my cabbages i may my husband harvested greens from this bed and I told him to chop all the big leaves and he doesn't know really what he's doing and I wasn't watching so he took a few of the cabbage leaves off and it was starting to form a head so um, you know it is what it is I, they may not even you know come through because it's again it's getting warm so I don't know I replanted my french breakfast radishes we harvested all of those these are my black nebula carrots and they look really well I have thinned them out and I got some bunchy onions here and here and I did succession plant those you can tell the stalky ones from the real 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 thin ones right got some weeds that need to come up out of there you see that weeds weeds They're everywhere so I need to come around I was I was gonna pull out all of my lettuce greens and spinach and stuff but I harvested one big harvest if y'all check out a previous video that I did and then they just I mean grew back so fast this mustard spinach be honey working okay it'd be putting out look how big that leaf is isn't that something but those flowers are beautiful flowers are beautiful um, I don't know if I'm gonna save the seeds from all these I may because I've never done that from greens before so I may go ahead and try to do that with the pop choy back there that's went to see our flower that's going to seed and this behind the pop choy are pole beans Kentucky pole beans and I made this little trellis <laughs> 
it's pitiful but I'm gonna see if it'll work out of um, twine that's all just trying to use what I got so using the fence and some twine that I had and maybe those beans will run up the twine I might have to train them up just a bit this is what's left of my winter sowing jugs most of it is warm weather crops so habanero peppers Cali, Cali wonder peppers um, cilantro I think it's gonna be done uh, Dr. Witchy tomatoes pineapple tomato uh, uh, pear tomato I got all kinds of stuff so the strawberries have put on uh, about we harvest about four or five from those uh, those are nasturtiums they tend to you know tap out when it gets warm but they're hanging in there as well these are my tomatoes that I planted in the ground so this is a Roma tomato and it looks good it looks good um, no issues you know, knock on wood with pests yet so I am excited this is big little big girl farmers um, spot right here we've harvested her lettuce some of the radishes she's got carrots in there again this is a I think an 18 gallon mm, I think it's 18 gallon uh, smart pot Kelly Kim garden and home .com. and I really really love it love it and I love that pop of color it's purple I love that um got a, sh sh a tender orange watermelon planted here and then my sugar baby is planted over there in that crate right there right there um, I tried to succession plant lettuces again here and spinaches and salad mix the uh, the lettuce with the red leaves is called prize head lettuce um, look at these flowers I'm not sure what they are, but they're beautiful. Anybody know? They're beautiful. And then I have over here, we have some, what is this? Oh, dark, yeah, dark zucchini. So it's coming along very well. And last but not least, I do believe, is this garden bed. Now, this is the first bed I've ever, I ever started with. When I started gardening, I just had a four by four and a few containers. So here I have some collard uh, greens planted. You can see the little seedlings that are coming up. And then I have some yellow uh, sweet onions and some marigolds. And then, you know, the, the um, whatever that was that came out of the compost pile uh, that has flowered. So everything else is covered in weeds um, you know and I'm trying to keep those down and plugged out I have, a, I have a few flowers that are coming up I do believe those are flowers I might be wrong a neighbor gave me that I'm not sure what that is um, but overall I am very very pleased look at this I am just blown away at how successful this garden has been so far this year and how much fun I've had thank you all for watching um, I have tons and tons of other things to show you um, my figs Fred is doing well um, he is leafing out still he is trying his best to get himself together hey little big girl farmer what's up can you say hi hi <laughs> and mr. Ellis is doing good I got the apple tree out mm -hmm. and some other things y'all just haven't been able to plant this stuff out so I got tons and tons of plants that I still need to get out I have some extras too some beef steaks all those are sweet potato slips I don't know what I'm gonna do look at that Roman tomato right there Isn't he beautiful I, I really do want to plant him out I need to get him out um, somewhere some sunflowers I got sunflowers everywhere um, my tomatoes um, in the pots are young but are doing well. Planted some lettuce here. This is a tiny Tim tomato seedling, seedling here and here with tons of marigolds around and it seems to be working. So we'll see. I don't know what this is. 
again I think it's a squ either a squash or a pumpkin I'm hoping it's not a pumpkin because I don't really want a whole lot of pumpkin plants around I know I got that one over there but we'll see oh and my potatoes these are russet potatoes y'all I forgot to show y'all those but I've never grown them before. A lot of this stuff I've never grown. So I haven't done a video on the rusted potatoes, how I did it using this, uh, reusing a reusable grocery bag. And I have tons of grocery bags. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do that again, but I just wanted to see how this would work. So it looks like it's working pretty well. All right, you all, that is all. That is all I do believe. Thank you all for watching again. We love y'all so much. Mommy, look at what I got. Oh my goodness. What is that? It's a stick. It's a stick. Yes. I got it with my toy stick. Yeah, you did. Thank you all for watching. We love y'all. Bye.